Hello, and welcome to another episode of Healthy Perspectives. My name is Vernon Solomon. Everybody wants to be happy, but happiness is elusive for many of us. We get up in the morning and dread going to work. We find our jobs and marriages unsatisfying. We don't find pleasure in being with our friends. And we are often sick or we have trouble sleeping. In short, our lives are not filled with contentment, hope, or joy. A few people have devoted their lives to searching for ways to achieve joy, and these individuals often are willing to share their secrets with others. In fact, they find joy in doing so. Their approach is called the Art of Living. The Art of Living program is an educational and humanitarian movement that supports a number of classes that teach people to manage stress and live richer and more meaningful lives. The organization operates in 152 countries and more than 370 million have participated in the program in one way or another. Several Art of Living programs have been offered in Antigua at the American University of Antigua College of Medicine and additional courses will be offered in the future. These courses that have been offered so far have been taught by Pankti Bhatt, an AUA medical student. Today on Healthy Perspectives, AUA psychologist Danny Wedding interviews Ms. Bhatt about the art of living and learns more about how the simple meditative practices and breathing techniques taught in the program can enrich the lives and enhance the happiness of those individuals who choose to participate in the program. Good evening. I'm Dr. Danny Wedding, a professor at the American University of Antigua College of Medicine. And today I'm delighted to be with Ms. Pankti Bhatt, who is going to tell us about the art of living. And I know very little about it, Pankti, so I'm going to let you explain it. Okay. So Art of Living was founded by Sri Sri Ravi Shankar in southern India in 1981. That's when he started the organization. So what is Art of Living, you may ask? So Art of Living basically offers different courses um, which are based on different breathing techniques, meditation, yoga, and which helps you to deal with your day-to-day -day life st stress and even for mental and physical fitness. So yeah, and uh, other thing, we are also involved in many humanitarian initiatives, service projects and stuff. So that's the other aspect of, of Art of Living. and. Um, a uh, little bit about Sri Sri, who he is. Uh, he is a philanthropist and humanitarian mm -hmm. and a spiritual leader. Also, Art of Living is open to anyone in this world, like any religion. And it's basically not associated with uh, any religion or any caste. Any age person can do it. Mm -hmm. And um, anyone from any background, community, can join for the course or even get involved with the service activities, if not for the course. Yeah. So although it had its, its origins in mm -hmm. India, it is not specifically associated with Hinduism? Not really. No, no, no. It's basically based on spirituality. It, uh -huh. it is a spiritual organization. Yes. There is no religious tag to it. No. And, and there are programs in Antigua if people are interested in participating? Yes, definitely. We do offer programs in Antigua. Antigua is one of our newest centers, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually had uh, one of the programs recently and it was a success, and we'll hear more about it. But yeah, we do offer it in Antigua. I know that some of our medical students have taken part, and actually yes. some of our faculty, and yes. they've been very enthusiastic about the yes. experience. <laughs> so I, uh, meditation is part of it, and, mm -hmm. and I've practiced transcendental meditation, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I've uh, studied meditation in Thailand. Okay. Would this be different than what I've learned in the past? Uh, it does cover meditation, it does cover yoga, but it will be adding on to the path. Okay. Yes. Now I know that breathing is an important part yes. of this and, and I've been breathing for 66 years. Why do I need somebody to teach me how to breathe? <laughs> I would like to focus more on breathing actually because the baseline of Art of Living is Sudarshan uh -huh. Kriya. And Sudarshan Kriya is a rhythmic breathing technique. Mm -hmm. We use uh, different rhythms of our own breath 
to focus on our inner self and how that practical aspect can help us balance our day-to-day -day life. Some might say that, oh, I'm happy. Why do I need to get involved with such an organization or why do I need to participate in such a thing? Yeah, definitely this question comes up a lot. But I would say that it's for everyone in our day-to-day -day life in present. We have so much stress that we are dealing with. If not stress, there's some other struggle going on. And this program is just amazing. And it's just not uh, talking and wisdom talks. It's there's an actual practical aspect known as Sudarshan Kriya, breathing technique, which can be used um, as a tool to balance our life. Yes. So this is not just for unhappy people. No. <laughs> people like myself. I'm probably at the 98th percentile of happiness, but I can still benefit from the yes, program. Yes, defi definitely, definitely. I still definitely. have some things to learn. Yes. <laughs> now, now, I know what a, a good medical student you are, and mm -hmm. I know you're very smart, and, and yet I know how hard medical school yes. is. Uh, how do you find time in your schedule for meditation and, and for in practicing uh, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I med meditate every day for 30 minutes in the wow. morning. So I do take out this time because it's about priority. Like it helps me to move on throughout the next 15 hours of my day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's actually a research literature showing mm -hmm. that people that have balance in their life and take time to meditate and exercise, for example, do better and learn more. Yes. Than I would people rather spend this study. 30 minutes on meditation okay. and have a wonderful day. <laughs> well, you're one of the happiest people I know, so maybe the program had something to do with that. Yes, definitely. <laughs> now, if, if somebody wanted to get involved mm -hmm. and a program was being offered mm -hmm. uh, in Antigua, uh, are, are, how much time is involved and what does it cost? Usually it depends on what the course is, but for basic happiness program, it's uh, usually five days, mm -hmm. uh, depending on what weekdays we select, yes. So somebody would have to take time off work to participate? No, we usually do it in the evening, so it won't affect their work schedule. Okay. Yes. And, and is there a fee or a charge? Yes, uh, there's a 100 US dollar charge, uh -huh. 270 EC um, for the course. And someone might, might ask, why charge so much? Right. You know? Yeah. So it goes towards a sister organization of Art of Living. It's International Association of Human Values, IAHV. Uh, which is uh, which was founded by Sri Sri in 1997. Mm -hmm. It actually started in US, and uh, all this money is going towards IAHV, which is forwarded towards all the disaster relief, community outreach, um, uh, women empowerment, uh, prison smart programs, welcome home troops in United States. Yeah. So it's really philanthropy that yes. you're investing in. Yes. And. Uh, it certainly has changed your life. And what has been the yes. major change? Uh, well, I'm a medical student. It's so stressful. Like, I see people around me. They're so stressed. But I feel like I'm always different, you know, separated from them. Like, I have this happy bubble around me always <laughs> that whatever may come, it will be fine. Just that strong confidence, yeah. Count me and Pankti. Okay. I'm on board. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Did you know that asthma is the most common long-term chronic lung disease there is in the world? The organs in the chest that helps to breathe oxygen in and carbon dioxide out are called lungs. Air travels into the mouth and nose, down to the larynx and enters the trachea and bronchi and finally into the lungs. With asthma, there is inflammation and narrowing of the airways. This is because the smooth muscles in the airways tightens and excess mucus is produced. The inflammation and mucus buildup leads up to different symptoms you experience with asthma. For example, wheezing, shortness of breath, and coughing. This message has been brought to you by American University of Antigua College of Medicine, Asthma League. Well, I joined the Art of Living community in the year 2008. Uh, the reason was, uh, I, at that time I was under a lot of stress. 
like my dad wasn't keeping well and I had my own health issues and then even in the research I was working on limb regeneration so that was my postdoctorate uh, research and uh, the experiments were not working so I was under a lot of stress and uh, some of my friends suggested that I should go for an art of living course but then you know in the beginning I just kept refusing and it was a kind of denial and I kept thinking, no, I can manage. And you know, that ego was there. And uh, I met my childhood friend, uh, who is also a tough living teacher. She strongly recommended me to join the course. And I did the base, the, that time it was called as a basic course, and now it's called as a happiness program. So I did that, which was uh, five days. So I learned what's called as a Sudarshan Kriya, that's the breathing technique. Right? So we are inhaling the air and it's going out. And that you are controlling. And you know, once you control that, you would be controlling your mind. And medically, you know, most of our diseases are because of stress. So when you do this breathing exercise and meditation and yoga, the stress level would come down. So the scientific reason is, you know, all these disorders or diseases are associated with gene expression, which are controlled by stress hormones like steroid hormones. So when you do breathing exercise, yoga, meditation, the stress hormone level comes down, which ultimately would lead to no diseases or less that is the biggest advantage. I'm a biochemist and a scientist. So even though many times I don't want to look at things scientifically, somehow my mind forces me to think it that way. And when I started this uh, breathing technique almost every day, that's when I started to think, oh, this must be the reason. And there are a lot of research and a lot of articles out there which prove that these meditation breathing exercise do decrease the stress level and hence we become more healthy. I also learned the meditation part so in this course and uh, that's when I learned that anything can be meditated like you know you're studying you just focus on that that's a that becomes a meditation uh, this. and the most important thing that I learned and which I'm applying every day was live in the moment, enjoy everything, appreciate everything. You know, this is very interesting. Before I did the course, uh, I wouldn't enjoy my food. I would just eat it, and you know, I wouldn't enjoy the nature. But after I did the course, I really learned how to enjoy this, how to appreciate everything. I have become more calm and I have learned let go. Now, I was the person who would hold on to things or people, but because of this course, you know, I learned let go. We all strive to achieve happiness in our lives some way or another. This may be one option you may wish to consider. For more information on the Art of Living program, you can visit artofliving.org or artoflivinguniverse.org. You can also follow them on Facebook at Art of Living Universe or The Art of Living. And on Twitter, it's at Art of Living Now. If you're interested, you can also download their mobile app by searching for Art of Living. Take care of yourselves. We thank you for spending some time with us and for allowing us to share healthy perspectives with you. Be well, Antigua and Barbuda, and may your perspective always be a healthy one.